Hi, I'm Kurt Mitchell. Welcome to the Nirvana Tape. We have a lot to discuss. I want to get straight to it. This guy, uh, Kurt Cobain, he used a lot of gadgets um, that I've read about, and, and you can read about them in a lot of guitar player magazines and stuff, especially since he passed away. I don't want to get tied up in all that stuff because you can get lost in all that junk. Um, he used to play a Fender Jaguar, which I used to have and got stolen from me. I wish I hadn't. It was a 65, really nice guitar. Uh, he was left-handed, obviously. Um, he wasn't a very good guitarist. Riff what? You know, he wasn't Eddie Van Halen. He wasn't trying to be and didn't care. Um, of all the Seattle guys that came out of this whole era, which crushed what I was doing when I put my album out, I was with a band called Bangalore Choir, and we were doing that corporate rock thing, and my hair was all puffed out, and I was really cool looking right in makeup and all that crap. His hook lines were extremely good. Whether he meant them to be or not, uh, I don't know. Um, and uh, like I said, as a guitarist, he wasn't very good, but he didn't care. Riff 2. Man, and I'll tell you, I never had any respect for him as a guitar player until I realized that it was all about songs and it's not about how fast you can play and it's not about how ripping your leads are. You can have... Malmsteen's a perfect example. 31. And uh, I, I enjoyed making it and I hope you enjoy uh, playing along to it. And until next time, I'm Kurt Mitchell and I'll see you later.